Hello and welcome in this video for uh, an exercise that was given during the um, Olympiad of Mathematics in India in 1990. And this exercise is this one. X and Y are non-negative integers and you want to find X and Y verifying this equation. XY minus 7 squared equals to x squared plus y squared. So if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. When you've got an equation like this to solve, one idea you can get is to say, well, okay, on the left, we've got a perfect square. So let's transform this quantity on the right to get a perfect square. x squared plus y squared. This is a sum of two squared, and uh, this is the beginning of a remarkable identity. The double product is missing. So let's add the double product to xy on the right and on the left at the same time. So now, on the right, this is the remarkable identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you could transform this right part into x plus y squared. On the left, you've got xy minus 7 squared plus 2xy. This 2xy, you could simplify if you expand this quantity, xy minus 7 squared. So, thanks to this remarkable identity, a minus b squared, this is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, you end up with x squared y squared minus 14xy plus 49, plus 2xy equals to x plus y squared. So now I can rearrange things by adding minus 14xy plus 2xy. Let's do that, okay? You end up with x squared y squared minus 12xy plus 49 equals to x plus y squared. So now, if you focus on the first two terms, you can note it that first term is a perfect square. This is xy squared. And the second term, instead of having minus 12xy, you can rewrite in 2 times 6xy. So this is the beginning of a remarkable identity. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared equals to a minus b squared. But b squared is missing. This is plus 36. So you can transform this 49 into 36 plus 13. So you end up with xy minus 6 squared plus 13 equals to x plus y squared. So now on the left you can uh, put all these terms in y and x and on the right the other terms. Let's do that. xy minus 6 squared minus x plus y squared equals to negative 13. On the left, we've got a squared minus a squared. So this is a remarkable identity. a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. Let's apply this. You got xy minus 6 plus x plus y times xy minus 6 minus x minus y equals to negative 13. 
this is interesting because 13, this is a prime number. So if you multiply these two terms and you end up with negative 13s, in fact, you've got only four possibilities. Negative 1 times 13, 1 times negative 13, 13 times negative 1, or negative 13 times 1. So let's call 1 the first quantity and 2 the second quantity. So if you calculate 1 plus 2, this is xy plus xy, this is 2xy. Negative 6 plus negative 6, this is negative 12. And x minus x becomes 0. And y minus y, this is 0 as well. And now, if you subtract 1 minus 2, this is xy minus xy, this is 0. Negative 6 minus negative 6, this is negative 6 plus 6, this is 0. x minus negative x, this is x plus x, this is 2x. This is y plus y, this is 2y. And you can factor by 2 and you obtain 2 times x plus y. So now you can put in row number 1 the value of 1 plus 2. This is 2xy minus 12. And you obtain negative 1 plus 13 this is 12, 1 minus 13, and you end up with negative 12, 13 minus 1, this is 12, and negative 13 plus 1, this is negative 12. Row number 2, this is quantity number 1 minus quantity number 2, this is 2 times x plus y. So, Negative 1 minus 13, this is negative 14. 1 minus negative 13, this is 14. And 13 minus negative 1, this is 14. And negative 13 minus 1, this is negative 14. Well, you can notice uh, two things. First thing on row number 2, the quantity, you can divide by 2 to get x plus y. But if you do that on the left, you do that on the right also, so you will obtain minus 7, 7, 7, and minus 7. Row number 1, this is the second thing to notice. This is 2xy minus 12. So you can put this minus 12 on the other side and you divide by 2. Like this, if you do this to operations, then you obtain the value of xy. This is 12, 0, 12, 0. And the value of x plus y. This is negative 7, 7, 7, and negative 7. But if we remember, x and y are non-negative integers. So this is not possible if you add two non-negative numbers to end up with a negative number. So you disregard okay, these two cases. So you end up with the value of x plus y is 7 and the value of xy is 0 or 12. So you end up with four solutions, 7, 0, 0, 7, 4, 3, 3, 4. 
So thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you in another video.